Hello, this is Christian Joy, and you're listening to Music is Power. Joining me here today in Music is Power podcast is uh, Christian Joe, and she's a um, designer, uh, indie designer. Can I say indie designer? Do you do you think yeah. yourself as an indie designer? Uh, I guess I am because it's you know I'm not I'm not huge yet. I'm still pretty small. <laughs> okay, and uh, how are you today? How am I? I'm good. Good. Okay. Uh, can you tell me how your uh, career starts? Um, well, it basically started that, um, you know, I, I kind of, I was working at a clothing store and, um, you know, there was all these, there was all these smaller designers that, who, that we sold and a friend in, of mine and I were like, oh, you know what, we could make this stuff. <laughs> we're just kind of joking around. And then, um, and then I just kind of started to try to do it on my own. Um, and I started by like remaking old clothing and then the way Karen and I actually met was um, that I was working at this at a different store and I had some dresses that I had, had made and she saw them and asked for one and you know started wearing my clothes on stage from then on. Okay and uh, you see that you're uh, very close friends with Karen, no? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's my best friend, yes. You know each other from, from a long time? Yeah, we knew each other from even before you know um, we started working together. Um, I had I had known her just because I was working in the store and she used to come in all the time and we would we would hang out and talk you know and and that's that's how we met in the first place and then um, you know everything else kind of came later. Okay, and uh, what about your uh, new collection? As uh, I saw in your website, a couple of uh, your designers designed the ideas for the new collection, and they are like uh, black and white mix it with the yeah. red as well some yeah sometimes. yeah uh, I was trying to, I mean I was you know it's my first question and I kind of thought um, you know I mean that's that's more like the way I dress and actually the way you know everyone that I know kind of dresses you know I mean it's like you know even Karen it's like you know she's not gonna dress like a maniac you know <laughs> like off stage so so it was kind of you know it's just inspired by like you know, um, just kind of New York and the way that girls dress in New York, I think it's very cool and sort of um, a little bit more, you know, basic, but they, you know, it's more about the attitude that they, they bring to the clothing. And, and uh, so I was kind of trying to express that with, with um, that collection. And uh, what about the red? Can you, can you tell me about this color as well? Because uh, I was thinking that the red is uh, when, you, when, when you want to... Uh, people to to look at something because there is the black and black and white. Uh, well, you know, I, think, I mean, to me, the black and white is is it, you know, I like a, I like a lot of high contrast, and so for me, the black and white is even more um, eye catching than the red because I think like you know, it's like that contrast is really um, you know, so it's just such a high contrast it makes it very graphic. And I kind of just threw the red in because you know I like I kind of like that as well with the with the black and the white and it just seemed like a good color to go with it. So it, you know that was kind of basically it. You know um, I, I decided I had to do a few graphics to go with the with the clothing and you know that one fit well and that color fit well. So I think that's that's more you know how it happened. Okay, and uh, is it uh, difficult to choose uh, for Karen now every time and for every concert uh, something like a new design you do? No, you know, I love doing it so much and I, I feel like I'm always just kind of always thinking about it and always like, you know, trying to come up with new concepts and, you know, I kind of really keep sort of like, you know, a file in my mind or, you know, I keep a lot of like, you know, inspiration up around me that, you know, I think will be good for, for future looks for her. So coming up with costumes for her has never been a problem. You know, it, it's, um, you know, I have, I have lots of ideas, <laughs> I have to say, you know, and it's, and it's a lot of fun. So, you know, because it's got so much, you know, um, energy behind it, it, it it's, um, I find it, you know, pretty easy. And how do you do? How do you, uh, do you uh, make your make models your and then invite Karen No and she's choosing she's some of your models, your or models just you say to Karen Well, that's great. You can wear it for your new concert. <laughs> 
No, you know, usually it's like right before, um, you know, they have tours or, you know, maybe sometimes it's like they're playing television shows or, or doing, you know, um, different things like that. She'll ask for a new group of costumes and, you know, she's very trusting with the whole, um, you know, situation and, and, you know, a lot of times I make the costumes and then I kind of bring it to the show and then she puts it on, you know, so she doesn't really know always like what the costume is going to look like, you know, um, at, at least it has been like that up until now, now I'm getting ready to make some new costumes for her and um, these we're, we're trying to kind of like, you know, uh, come up with kind of a new look for her and stuff. So. <clears throat> There's sort of a different concept behind these and you know, we're, we're doing more with like fittings and stuff um, than we did before. And uh, I was in your uh, online magazine, uh, in your online shop, and uh, you don't have accessories there, I think. I don't have what? You don't have accessories. Accessories? Uh, you know, uh, the thing, bags and shoes and... Uh, and accessories. Yes. Yeah, you know, um, I, I mean, I'm really small and I, I think like, you know, I, I basically work all on my own. So it's like, you know, um, you know, I make Karen stuff and then I make the collections and it's basically me. So it's like, I mean, I have sewers and then I have one person that comes in once a week. So I kind of have to do what, what I can do. I'd like to have, you know, accessories because I think, you know, that's one of my favorite things actually. But um, at the moment, you know, it's, it's like... It's, it's a lot of extra work that I kind of don't feel like I have the time for yet, you know. I see. And uh, what about your clothes? Are they are all the clothes hand handmade? Do you make all the, your no, clothes? No, those. I mean, I have sewers that do do all of the clothes. Like all the Karen stuff is made here in in my studio, and I have interns and stuff to help me. But um, but all of the clothes for the collection are are sewed by professional sewers and stuff. But I mean, like. The pattern making and the fabric sourcing and every, all of that other stuff is like all done by me. I see. And uh, since the Music is Power podcast is an indie podcast about playing indie music, uh, I already asked you, but uh, do you consider yourself as an indie designer? Yeah, I think so. I mean, because, um, you know, I mean, I, I guess there's just like different levels of, of uh, you know, fashion designers, and I'm definitely not, you know, a huge one now. And, you know, it's like I'm working a lot on my own, and, you know, um, yeah, so, yeah, just because of that, I think I am, you know. And uh, what about as well for the indie music? I saw that you make uh, the dresses for, of course, for Yeah, Yeah, Yes, and as well for Klaxon, I'm right? Yeah, yeah, I started making some costumes for the Klaxons. Um, and uh, maybe you can tell us more about you to do the clothes. Um, those are the only two. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's, like, that's a great, great choice, actually. <laughs> One yeah. of uh, my favorite bands. Oh, cool. That's good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I really would have n never, I never had any, you know, um, desire to make, make it, make them for any other bands. And then, you know, because I was fine working with just Karen and the Claxons actually were like, oh, you make us costumes. And I kind of thought they were joking and, and, uh, and then they came back and asked again, and I said, yeah, that sounds great. So, you know, it's a, it was a lot of fun making stuff for them, actually, because uh, just solely because they're all boys, you know, and, and uh, I kind of thought that there weren't going to be any boys that would wear <laughs> wear that stuff, you know, but they totally rocked it out, which is impressive. I see, and so uh, where people, can you, can you tell us where people can uh, buy your clothes uh, offline? I mean, do you have uh, something like a uh, shop in New York or something like that? I don't have a shop myself, but um, there is a store in New York called TG170 that carries the line, or they carried it for spring, and then for fall, there's a, a couple stores here in New York, one's cry, called Cry Wolf, another one, um, what's the other one's called? I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head, but, and then there's some stores in LA that have it, um, and then in um, Hong Kong, Singapore, and uh, what else is there? Uh, and in Taiwan, there are stores. So it's kind of like you know more than the bigger cities and sort of mainly United States and then Asia. Yeah, I think uh, I saw those um, the the w the address of the magazines of the shops uh, in your website. I'm right. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So people, if if people want to buy your clothes, just to visit your website and there are the the online and the offline magazines shops. Yep. 
And uh, usually my last question is uh, for the for the band is uh, to tell me a fun story involving their uh, concerts. But uh, since you don't, of course, have concerts. Uh, do you have some funny story involving KAS concert of yes uh, with you? Uh, do I have a funny story? Oh, I have loads of funny stories. <laughs> Can you share some um, with us? Yeah, there's, I'll tell you about um, one of the first times we I went with them um, anywhere. We went to South by Southwest Music Festival in, in um, Austin, Texas. And uh, this is like right, I don't know if they had released uh, Fever to Tell yet or not, but um, we were in Texas and another friend of mine was with me and we were all hanging out backstage with Karen and um, there was this guy there that kept buying us loads of margaritas. <laughs> and so we were getting really, really drunk and, uh, and just wreaking havoc on the room. And, and the guy that owned the club said, you know, you girls have to behave back here. And uh, we we're kind of, yeah, all right, you know. And, and, but we were really drunk off tequila. <laughs> and so um, Clinic was playing, the band Clinic was playing the next night. And uh, their backstage room was next door to ours. So we went in and, and installed all of their masks, you know, because they were those doctor's masks on stage, and brought them back to our room and, and put them on. And, and uh, the owner of the club came in and said, listen, I told you girls, you break my room, you're out of here. So <laughs> he, like, kicked us out of the place. And we had our masks on, and we, we were going out the door going, we're clinic, we're clinic. And there's all these people kind of watching us go out, going out and, like, you know, laughing. and. It was funny. It was fun. I mean, it was like, you know, and then the next morning, um, the band's manager came in and said, okay, which one of you guys pushed Courtney Love into the potato salad? Because I guess when we opened the door, Courtney Love happened to be standing behind it, and she went into the, to the food service, so it was kind of fun.